Yeah. sure if this is going to work, but we'll try anyway. Um, okay, so this is clean, so I'll use this one. This will be my template. Hey, this is the... Okay. Never mind. I don't know, I don't like this being sticky. this because this was just a template well I hope I can remove it okay yeah so I might need thicker foam for this idea I had looks great great and sticky now next step will be instead of making this I will use the wiggle variant with extreme wiggles hopefully so they have a overlap and there's no like vertical traces where you can see through right now this is the part that's unsupported so this might still be too big I mean this width 73 hmm. maybe it works but I think it might be a little bit too much <clears throat> so I had an idea and sorry I have a cigarette in my mouth <laughs> and this is the, the fastest way of checking that because I have this already I don't have to glue magnets etc so I'm gonna check something if I can use corrugated foils here with the sticky version I did on my tweeters and a another kind of membrane so here I had like these pieces to give it stiffness sideways some somewhat because normally this resonance would be like 50 Hertz which is you know this panel is not meant to be playing 50 Hertz I rather have the have it at like 100 or something or 120 that will be like insanely awesome but I think this width which is the only determined factor of the resonance is probably too big so I might either need to get this foamy tape more up to the magnet or might have to remove one magnet on both sides well we'll see also it works better if it's like twice as long and then slightly less wide. There's more surface area doing work. Now it's constrained already after 10 centimeters because that's the length of the magnet. But anyhow, this is going to be a fast test if I can replace the foil with something uh, weird, a weird design. 
So I'm gonna model some new foil. And that's gonna take some time. Then hopefully I cut it today, but maybe I'll leave that for tomorrow. Who knows? So it's finished. Well, at least, at least nothing ripped. So that's a bonus. But this is, there's not much light here. So yeah. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. Ooh, look at this. That's cool. They look so cool. No, oh, wait. No, not focus on the white stuff. Focus. Ah, fuck. Hmm, there is a problem. The problem is that the foil is sticking to the... to this thing too much. So it tried to rip it off. So it's not perfect. God damn it. So everything went well. And then something as stupid as... Too much glue on the... <clears throat> PVC pipe. So that's one thing that works. Okay, so we got the foil, but I still need to get rid of the traces that I don't need. That's looking cool. Wow. <laughs> that looks weird. I think the distance between traces could even be smaller. But, you know, we we'll have to start somewhere. Look, puss. She has her own pillow. She's like a king. Well, queen. By the way, these rollers, uh, I can I buy them at a uh, art shop. Art shop. Art shops are well. 
for me at least, one of the coolest coolest uh, stores because they have loads of materials for well art but but um, yeah like loads of kind of papers and nice stuff so um, yeah and there's a wider variant but they're really expensive like this one is like I don't know almost 20 euros or something I mean it's not much but it's still looking the same as it is when I bought it. But you have wider ones which are really nice, but they're like 50 euros for a fucking roller. But yeah, I am gonna buy one because they are oh pretty nice. Yeah, so this could have looked a little bit better if my uh, miler on this PVC roll was not like uh, sitting there for 300 years because I think that kind of screwed it up nothing is fucked if you look at the fronts of these they still look quite pleasing and reflective. Yeah, this is never gonna work. Well, anyhow, let's uh, see what kind of resistance we get. I might add a tape here to make it a little bit stiffer. But anyhow, this resistance is not really a big deal. I mean, I'm just playing around testing this idea. By the way, this has uh, this incorporates one of my ideas that I had before. So it goes wiggle, 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 and does the whole thing, and then it goes instead of yeah, and then one trace is going to be out of out of phase. So if you remember the video last, not last video, but the video before, two ohms. That's quite cool because uh, two of them will be in series. That means four ohms. Slightly higher, maybe 4.2. Who knows? So, yeah, cool. And they're a bit too long as well, so I might as well. It might go lower. Hmm. I've recorded this, this action like five million times, I think, by now. So, now the idea is that. It has some overlap. In the bigger Apogee style I did, you have more aluminium and then the uh, wrinkle or the uh, wavy thing makes sure that there is some aluminium in the spot where normally there would not be any aluminium, so it holds shape better. And the only thing I forgot is that apogees are corrugated like this so that's why it works so in my case this might be completely useless when i think of it and i only thought of it right now okay i don't know if you can understand well you probably will but if you have this uh, wrinkly design which is hard to film so you got a wrinkly design apogee is corrugated in this way and then you have if you had like tr normal traces then some of the corrugation ends up exactly on the miler and it does not hold corrugation when you do the weefy design like i did right now uh, it makes sure that there is some some aluminium at those spots now somehow i forgot that i corrugate like this and i really it might change of matter it might matter a little bit but not the way it does in a apogee ribbon or apogee ribbon at least if you would corrugate it like this instead of this so yeah hmm. it shrunk quite a bit if you compare it to this one 
while this one was longer. I might do one first because I don't even have a clue if this works. So might as well not work at all. At least it looks quite wicked. Is there like a bowl? Ooh. So I hated that aluminium solder, but now I kind of like it. If you know how to use it. Ow, that's fucking hot. Hey, there's my fingerprint in the <coughs> solder. Okay. So, it's also late, so I'm just gonna try this. I might be putting it in a baffle though, because I can measure this, but it doesn't say much. I mean, I, I know the resonance will be lower, but it doesn't have output because the panel is so small. So I'm gonna put it in a test baffle. So I have an insert for that. It's this one. And I foresee some problems already, and that's the uh, that one. Well, let's see, this should be able to fit in here. Good enough, I think. Just add some tape so it doesn't fall out. Well, in this case, I can clearly hear the... Um, there's only one trace out of face and I can... you can hear it. Uh, so I should have made one of these and one without. So I'll probably do that tomorrow if I got the time, but... See how that performs. So I can probably put it in this one. And uh, see what it does, because now... It sounds weird. Now, resonance is 150, which is great, but it's not usable at that frequency. It's like insane distortion. But with a um, high um, order crossover, like now it's at 200, make it 220. Yeah, you can, you can well, you can play low. <laughs> I'll do a measurement. So nothing insanely weird there, but I still can see at 2.30 that uh, the distortion goes up and then it, you know, it drops off. So beyond 300, distortion is not looking at the second order because that's magnet related, but Third order is all below 0, 0.0 something, beyond 300. <laughs> so that's quite quite decent, I think. I mean, the highest was 0 0.03, beyond 300 hertz. Below that, it rises quite a bit. Ah, well, I'll make another foil and put it in this part without the trace going out of phase and measure them comparing them and then put them in series so that should be okay for low end see how that goes bye bye